What is going on guys? My name is Baron or Developer B and welcome back to episode 7 of the Bucket Coding Tutorial Series. In this episode, I'm going to teach you about locations and how to teleport to other players and I'm also going to teach you about aliases or command aliases. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Pretty much, I have a little teleport command set up, pretty basic, pretty general. You guys already know what this is because I did it in the last few episodes whenever we use commands. So this is pretty much checking if the sender is a player because the console is not going to be able to teleport to other players, obviously. So we're going to only want to have the player doing it. So let's go ahead and start typing some code. So we have our player variable set up. Because of this, you guys should already know what to do. So let's go ahead and say if args.length equals zero, then we're going to do this. So args.length, we want it to be 1 because we are specifying a player to teleport to, just like in our player healing and feeding episode. So we're just going to leave that blank for now, and we're going to set this to 1, and then we're going to say else. And so this is going to be our little setup for right now. And if we have a 0, then we are going to say player.sendMessage, chat color.red, please specify a player that you would like to teleport to, exclamation point. And there we go for that. And now, down here, this is where our actual teleportation is going to take place and everything. And down here, we're going to say, Player dot send message chat color dot red and we're gonna say too many arguments and why we're saying too many arguments is because we just want to give them a nice message if they put like 50 arguments like if they were like this and they said slash teleport um hello hi hey then that would be too many arguments and the server wouldn't read that and it would kind of like probably give an error or something. So we're gonna just handle that by saying this and solve that problem. But now we are gonna go ahead and get into the actual code of the teleportation. So we're gonna set up our target just like exactly the same way we did in our healing, player healing and feeding. If you haven't seen that episode already, go ahead and go watch that before seeing this because you will have no idea what I am doing. So there we go. And pretty much what this is going to do is get the player of the name that we specify. That's pretty much what we're doing, if you guys don't know what that is. And then we're going to say check if the target is null. So if this target is nothing, we're going to send the player message, check color not red, and we're going to say args1 or 0 is not online. So that is pretty much saying that they are not online if it equals null because it doesn't exist. And now we can return and safely assume that this target is a real player because it returned true and the target is not null. So now we can actually go ahead and teleport this player to the target. And how are we going to do that? Well, it's literally a few words. So all we're going to say is player.teleport. And as you can see, it takes a location, and that's what we're working with. And we're just going to say target dot get location. That's it. We're done. And what this is pretty much doing is, wow, they actually have a method. You're probably like, wow, they actually have a method for teleporting, and they do. And this is very useful for multiple reasons because you don't, you can't just use this to teleport to other players, but you can use it to teleport to. A location or anywhere so this is really useful this player dot teleport is really useful for spawns like mini game spawns or if you die then it'll send you to a death place or something like it's good for teleporting the player around like spawns there's a bunch of different different things like a spawn like a hub spawn whenever the player joins you want them to join into the hub spawn a certain area that's what teleporting is for or if you want to teleport them to entities, which we are doing now. So what are we going to do? We're going to say player.send message, and we're going to send them a nice message saying, you teleported to, and then args, or actually we can say target.getName because it won't return null. And then we're actually going to send the target a message because they're online. 
and we're gonna say chat color dot green and we're gonna say player dot get name teleported to you and there we go so now we are actually pretty much done with this episode really basic stuff actually so yeah there's nothing else that we can do and this is a pretty basic command so let's go ahead and check in the plugin and this is where we're going to do the aliases oh i forgot to mention also right here it says cmd.getName i know i told you to use label last time but make sure for this episode or whenever you want to use command aliases to type cmd.getName and i'll explain what a command alias is right now but if you want to use command aliases use cmd.getName it will not work with label it'll like the command just won't work if you use the aliases. So make sure to use this. So anyways, let's go back in here and we're gonna create the aliases. So we have our plugin.yml, we have our commands teleport and under description and usage, just in between them, that's the best place to put it. You can put it wherever, but that's the best place. And I'm gonna say aliases and put a bracket and this is where all of our aliases are gonna be. So. What we can say is tp, tele, and port. Those are going to be our three aliases. And what exactly do these do? Well, let's go back in here really fast. And as you can see, our main command name is teleport. But we can also use the aliases for this command, which is slash tp or slash tele or slash port. So all of these will work and do the same exact thing and run this code. So that's pretty much what a command alias is. And if you want to use these, make sure you use cmd.getName. I cannot stress that enough or else it won't work. So that is actually pretty much it. Really basic stuff, really simple tutorial. And trust me, it's going to get more advanced as we go on. So I already have everything set up. So let's go ahead and build this. And I'm actually going to log in to my other Minecraft account really fast and I will see you there. All right, guys, I am back. And as you can see, we have the server startup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reload, and as you can see, enabling teleport, so that worked. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this in action. So here we are, I'm at GJ, GJRII, and I wanna teleport to developer B, but how am I gonna do that? So let's go ahead and type slash help teleport and see what we got going, slash teleport, teleport to another player, pretty basic. So let's use slash teleport developer B and boom, it says you teleported to developer B, I'm here and he also teleported to me, which is cool and he is here now. And if I wanna teleport to GJRII, then I can say slash teleport GJRII, it'll take me there and it'll say I did. Let's go ahead and heal him, he's getting kind of low on health and feed him cause he's hungry. Uh, using our other plugin but now we are going to use the aliases and see if that works so here he is right there I'm gonna run away a little bit let's go ahead and say slash tpgj boom tp works and if we run over here into this like dark cave oh I'm stuck in the cave I need to get out slash tele gj boom works and if I run over here and I go to this village Oh, I don't want to be at this village. It sucks and nothing's here slash port GJ boom. It works. Oh shoot So thank you guys for watching and that was a basic tutorial on teleportation and com dot commands locations and it is going to get more complicated as we go on so stay tuned for that the locations are one of the most like basic API like features, but it's going to be more widely used than what it is now this is just basic but it's one of the core platforms of the bucket api the locations so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in episode eight where we are going to be looking at item stacks so see you guys there